a door floats. Hey, welcome to Imagine It. We're talking Titanic science once again. Can a door float? I, I don't know. That's the end of the movie, right? So it, we'll it have to find can. out. All right. Carl Nelson's here. He's the chief scientist with the Imagination Station and uh, looks like he's also the chief mixologist this well, morning. Yeah, we're going to talk about density. All right. Okay. And I think most people understand density is like mass per volume. Okay, so if I take something that's relatively large but light, like a ping pong ball, and throw it on some water, it floats. Sure. Okay, that makes sense. What's not maybe so obvious is that you can actually make liquids float on top of one another. That's terrific. It's got eight different liquids here. Everything wow. from honey to corn syrup to milk to detergent to water to vegetable oil, alcohol, all floating on top of one another. And so I want to show you how to do this. Yeah. Okay, there's a couple techniques. If you're working with some of the really heavy stuff like honey, Turkey baster is your friend, okay? <laughs> you want to use the turkey baster to put that down and the next layer just right down on top of it. Okay. okay? Because if you take one liquid and pour it from even a few inches into the other, they'll have enough velocity, they'll mix together, you get a mixture and not a nice layering. Gotcha. Okay? So heavy liquids, turkey baster. For light liquids, okay, ask mom and dad before you do this. <laughs> Bend okay? the spoon with your mind. This is the perfect tool. Go ahead and take that. <laughs> if you have a spoon like that or even like a ladle, uh, we've got some milk here, and mm -hmm. Tony, we're going to try to see if we can build up like a five-layer thing as quickly as we can. Okay. Okay. You're going to start with this liquid right there, and, and the technique, yeah. the technique, that is uh, detergent. Okay. The technique is you're going to put the spoon or the ladle down just above the liquid, and all the liquid is going to be poured onto the spoon. Okay. So give that a try. I don't know if I can reach that far. It, it, you just pour the liquid down there. As this long as you get uh, close, it'll be fine. It's, is, it's fairly forgiving. This is timely because no, no, you're doing perfect. This there. is how you make black and tans. I don't know if you're aware of that. I, I am aware of that. <laughs> I don't know if this is working same, here, Carl. No, no, that's, that's okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, lift the spoon up a little bit. Okay. Lift it up as you, you keep going. Move like an elevator. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the green liquid, okay. which is just some water. So we've got milk detergent, and now we're going to go with a little bit of green for St. Patrick's Day. A little water. Okay. Just pour that right into the spoon, and. A little bit slower, a little right. bit slower. You gotta be a, a little patience here. Yeah. And as you pour it in, you, no, you're doing great. That's that's really nice. It's building up nicely. And you see that because the water is less dense than the detergent, it floats on top. Next thing is a little vegetable oil. I just need to make a little shamrock impression at the top in the foam. <laughs> <laughs> You could, you certainly could. <laughs> I don't know if I could, but. And the last thing, Tony, just for you is a little ethyl alcohol, the red ethyl alcohol. Ah. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> It's okay. That's why I'm doing it as well. But okay. So the cool thing here. <laughs> that's why it was so polite the way no, you just said that. That's great. That's great. That's that very nice. I got almost there. Here, maybe I'll switch off. The spoon is, you know, it, it gets slippery with all this. Uh, it's the viscosity of the liquid, Carl. It does, and there, the alcohol is very, very light. So <laughs> there we very go. Nice. Top us off here. Now the cool thing about this is, here's a cherry tomato. Oh, nice. Go ahead and gently release that at the top. Okay. Let's see where it goes. Pew. Well, it's in the uh, substrata. Let's try it on all of them here and <laughs> see where they end up going. Excellent. So what's cool here, as you can see on this one, the cherry tomato is hovering just between the water and the detergent because its density is the same as whatever that level is. All right. If you throw in a, a dye, it's probably going to sink all the way down into the syrup. Hey, place your bets. And then, of course, the ping pong balls are going to float right on top. <laughs> Bottle there you cap. Go. Excellent floats just a little bit lower. So really, you could do this at home in a vase and try it out with uh, various items around your house, but not your mom's jewelry. Not the jewelry, sake, not the jewelry. Something. But that could be interesting if you get permission. But yeah, <laughs> all the stuff you have at home, you probably have all of it in your kitchen. You can layer these things up. Check out our website. I have instructions up there today of how you can go through this. But really, the technique with the missing spoon there, or the, the ladle, <laughs> that's really what helps. You have to build the layers up nicely so you get a really, really nice separation and look at that. That's just great. Right. Cherry tomato floating just above the milk. There you go. Believe it or not, this all ties in with the Imagination Station's Titanic, the Artifact Exhibition. You can go downtown, check it out for yourself at One Discovery Way. They're open today, and uh, they've got that Titanic exhibition with actors there today as well. So That's they'll true. be reenacting for you, walking you through the ship's decks and it's, talking it's, it's all really about cool. It. Check it out. And if you're a Lucas County resident, 12 and under, you get in free today. Thanks very much. Carl Nelson from the Imagination Station. That's this week's Imagine It. We're turning it over to Dave with sports.